Stand by. This is control. Alright guys, what's going on? It's Chris here, and today I'm going to be doing a commentary over a Halo 4 gameplay that I got today. It's actually a pretty good gameplay. I go 18 and 2, and it shows off exactly how I like to play the game, and what I do in some situations. So it, it highlights exactly what I like to do, and how I play. So I thought I'd upload it for you guys, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So when I got this, I was like, okay, I'm going to do a commentary over this gameplay. And I thought I should give my thoughts and opinions on the game so far to you guys, because I've played like 18 hours in game time already. Yes, I know that's sad, but the game actually keeps track of your time spent in game, and I thought that was a pretty cool feature. And when I looked at it and it said 18 hours in game, I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's time to do my thoughts and opinions video. So, <laughs> hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to talk about the good and the bad things that I've witnessed in Halo 4 so far, and what I think of the game overall. And Black Ops 2 is coming out tomorrow, so I probably won't be playing this game for the next week, but I had a lot of fun playing it this week, and I'm going to go through some of the good and bad things, as I said. So, this is actually a nice gameplay, and I do enjoy the game in general. I mean, there is a couple of flaws that, have, that you have in every single game. There's not really much we can do about it. We can just play the game and get over it. But they're not really big, bad things that need to be fixed. Well, one of them does, and that is the problem with the servers over the last few days have seemed to be down up and down all the time coming on and off because I can't connect to my friends some days and I can other days and then it'll say the servers are offline are busy and I should try back later and sometimes I get into a game and I'm just lagging severely and I think you do see that in this game in around the middle mark or somewhere along there I actually do witness some lag and people do start skipping about and teleporting that seems to happen to me in nearly every fourth or fifth game People are just lagging past me, or I'm lagging, I'm teleporting, and to say, it says the servers are down in the main menus, and I can't connect to friends, but I think everybody's having that problem, it's not just me, I don't think it's my connection, I think it's the servers in general, because it says on the Halo 4 itself that the servers are in fact having trouble, so that's something that needs to be fixed, like right away if people are going to continue playing the game, because if that doesn't get fixed, and people are constantly getting disconnected from their friends and not able to play Halo 4 multiplayer, they're going to get pissed off, you know, and it's going to bring them down, but in saying that, I'm pretty sure it will be fixed, and that's not anything that you have to worry about, I'm, I'm sure, but the next thing that I realised that really does piss me off while I'm playing Halo 4, is the fact that people turned it into Call of Duty. In big team games, people sit in spawn all the time in big team games. That's what I've noticed, and I've got a lot of friends that have said the same thing. They've been playing games where their friends, like not their friends, but the enemies on the other team, are actually sat in spawn, and them and their friends are trying to go clear them out, and they're just getting raped because the other team are sitting in spawn. It's actually so annoying. It's happened to me so many times, and it just turned me off big team game modes altogether. Now all I play is Infinity Slayer, so I play with maybe one or two friends if I'm not playing solo, and we do generally win quite a bit. My win loss isn't the best now because I stayed up all night when Halo 4 first came out on the Monday. I got it at midnight, and I didn't go to bed all like at all I stayed up all through the night and I went to bed you know the following day I went at like 11 o'clock that night and I went to bed got up the next day and played Halo all day again but that's what you do on a games release you know, I'm gonna do the same for Black Ops 2 tomorrow night so my win last kinda of took a beating but my KD isn't too bad I mean when you're playing solo anyway you, you can't expect to keep a positive win loss I'm not really focused on my win loss on Halo I play the game for fun but my KD is pretty good now I mean I've played like 150 games, I've won like 50 or 60 and I've lost the rest, so I've lost a little more over 100 games and I've won in a round, but my KD is okay, I've got 15 or 1600 kills and like maybe 12 to 1300 deaths, so I am positive that way, which is okay considering I was playing solo for most of the night Monday, <laughs> but I am having a lot of fun with this game, you know, there's a, there's a few good things about the game, in general the game is amazing itself, I uh, just... I'd like to see the people in Big Team not camp so much. I'm loving all the game mode selections, like that new Regicide 1v1v1v1v1 playlist. It's actually really fun. The whole idea of being a king and trying to hold on to the king and everyone kills him to get extra points. It's basically Lone Wolves, but if you kill the king, the Regicide, you get more points and you get a bonus XP or something like that. So, that's pretty good. I like that game mode. I've played it a couple of times. I'm not all that good, but I do come in the top 3 or 4 every time. And I had a, have a lot of fun doing that. I like playing King of the Hill too with a stacked team. That's a lot of fun. Domination, I've only played one game of. I tend to stick to Infinity Slayer for the 4v4. Just fast-paced gameplay on the small maps. 
and every game mode has only got like four maps five maps to themselves because obviously if you played big team on this map you'd get destroyed because it's haven it's the smallest map that i've noticed on the game but it's one of the best maps in the game every time it comes up i pick it infinity slayer has all the small maps there's four maps to choose from i can't remember the names because i've only i just really don't care about the names of the maps to be honest which i know haven is my favorite and that's all I gotta know. Big team have obviously bigger maps and domination you can play on the big maps. So every game mode has basically more maps I think. So I stick to Infinity Slayer so I don't know a lot of the maps. I know all the Infinity Slayer maps off by heart because they're tiny. I really do like the feel of the maps. Some people disagree and they say that the maps remind them of like crap maps from the campaign or something like that. And the maps are very small and boring to play on. But I don't agree with that at all. They're pretty fun. Maybe one or two are like Abandon and Solace. I don't like those maps. But you know, they're not bad maps. I'm able to do okay on them. I just, the feel of the map just doesn't feel right. The colour and the background and the scenery just doesn't feel nice. But other than that, you know... They're not bad maps, the layout I guess is something different and that's what people want. They don't want the same thing in a different game. In my opinion this game is everything that Halo Reach should have been and what it was meant to be. It just feels so good. Halo 3 used to be my favourite Halo but now I have to say by far this game is... I'm already like rank 40 or something like that so... I've had a lot of experience on this game so far and... As I said there's only a few bad things, the connection errors, the servers going down and the people camping and spawn. But that doesn't happen to me, happen to me because Infinity Slayer is very fast paced and small map so it's pretty easy to you know run in and gun if you want to but I choose not to. I like to play more like, I wouldn't say campy but I like to patrol the map around the outskirts of all the maps and pick people off to go positive and get a good nice win, secure win for the team because if you run into the middle of the map you're not going to do well. My favourite weapon that I do use though by far, I like the ordnance drops, but I always pick the scatter shot shotgun when I get my ordnance. I like the saw a lot, it's a pretty good gun, very nice to use, but I don't know what it is about the scatter shot shotgun. It just, every time I pick it up I'm like, oh god I love this. But anyway guys, the gameplay has come to an end. I'm having a lot of fun with this gameplay, uh, with this game in general, so... Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the game so far. Let me know what you think is good, what you, do, what you think is bad. And I'm sorry for the sloppy commentary, guys, but I haven't done one in a couple of days. And it just I just thought I'd get those few things off my chest, let you guys know how I feel about the game, and show you off a nice little gameplay that I got. So I went 18 and 2. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all soon. And don't forget to let me know what you think of Halo 4 already. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.